trouble coming hard to the earth. I'm talking about trouble so bad that hardly anybody won't be able to survive according to the Bible. You see a lot of it right now. We are in tribulation. Troubles and trials. Notice I didn't say great tribulation though. When that great tribulation hit, the Bible teaches us that the time got to be cut down because if it don't, you know the rest. The very elect could almost be fooled if it was possible, the Bible say. Notice it said if it was possible. But you think about all the people that got money, rich, wealthy. Think about people that don't have money. As the revelation say, great, small, or poor. Something to think about. It don't, it don't matter who you are, how much money you got. When this great tribulation hit, a lot of people will fall for the beast. A lot of people will fall for the beast. See, sad thing is, it's not too many preachers talking about what's coming. It's not too many talking about what's going on right now. It's not even too many I'm going to open up the book of Revelation and give you a revelation. But when that great trip hit, how y'all talking about pre-trip? Feel sorry for you. Because when it hit, and they would say back in the day when it hit the fan, it's going to be a sad time, y'all. Could you see yourself also with your children falling for the beast? How much of the word do you have in your heart? Can you see yourself falling for the beast? Hmm. If you can't get groceries, your car note needs to be paid, utilities, bills, getting gas, you name it, etc., etc. All the things that we got right now, imagine the only way you're going to be able to get it if you fall for the beast. How many choirs going to be singing then? How many preachers going to be in the pulpit begging for money then? How many prosperity preachers are going to survive? Oh, they are already with the devil. <laughs> Something to think about. I know a lot of people don't think like this because they so caught in being comfortable in the lifestyle that they have. But what you going to do with that lifestyle that you have that's comfortable goes away. It's coming. When you can't eat out like you want. When you can't go shopping like you want unless you have the mark. Or would you be able to look your children in the eye and say, I know you don't understand this. I know you don't. Why we can't go here, why we can't go there. Why there is no food. I know you're too young to understand this. But mama and daddy can't fall for the beast. I know you see what everybody else is doing, but we have to live against the system. How many people will actually be able to do that? 